over the last four or five years talk golf a lot more than I have done for a while. One of the things I'm noticing a lot from the customers that I get in front of me is shoulder and arm problems. So, how does that look? That looks like this. Often people get with their arm, their, their right elbow is stuck out like this at the top of the backswing, which then tends to lead to them not being able to sit the club back on plane on the way back down. So what we'd like to happen actually is the right arm to be underneath the shaft like that at the top of the backswing so that the club will then pull back down on plane. But what I'm seeing a lot of is people with their elbows stuck out like this and the right forearm kind of tipping that way. So what that leads to then is an initiation on the downswing where they start off going that way. And then if they're a good player, they'll tend to get back underneath, which causes all sorts of body contortions and back problems. Um, but, but ultimately, miss hits of all, de all descriptions. So, one of the things that causes this is our lifestyles. It's basically sitting in cars, sitting at tables, sitting at desks, and everything we do tends to be to promote round shoulders. Um, and that limits the mobility in the shoulders. So the way to test whether you've got shoulder mobility problems is really simple. If you stand upright and put your arm out like this, so you're looking to try and get your right arm at 90 degrees and it 90 degrees to your shoulder, and then you're gonna stand upright and rotate your arm as far back as you can now. What you should be able to do is you should be able to get beyond the horizontal. And it's a really good sign that if you can't get to the horizontal or you're short of the horizontal like this, that you've probably got some kind of shoulder mobility problems. So, have a test yourself, have a little look and see, and see whether that's you. And uh, if it is, uh, we've got Demi Frogook following me up on another video to try and give you some help with exercises and mobility stretching that you can do to help you golf. Hello everybody, I'm Dennis Roebuck from the Fit Golf Club and I'm working together with the team up at Volvo Links Golf Club to deliver you health and fitness tips that are going to improve your game. So I can't wait to get started, I'll either see you on the course or around the range. Hello, I'm Dennis Roebuck from the Fit Golf Club and I'm just giving you three exercises to improve range of movement and strength through your shoulders. So the first one is called a shoulder 9090. So for this one, you're going to lay on your back, elbows up at shoulder height, all you're going to do is get your knuckles and then palms to the floor and what we don't want if you see here my shoulders actually raise up off the floor we're trying to not do that all right try and keep the shoulders pinned to the floor and go through a full range of movement do 15 each side and then have a rest and repeat that three times the second one again you're going to be prone on the floor and you could have your elbow up on the platform and you're going to do exactly the opposite. You're going to raise your knuckles up off the floor. Again, my example is really poor, but we're trying to raise your hands up as high as you can, not pulling up with the shoulders, okay? Again, 15 each side. And what that does helps you get that feel that you can get your arm vertical, which is key in your golf swing. The third exercise, you're going to need a, short, uh, a small dumbbell. So I'll get up off the floor and show you that one. Okay, so third exercise, you just need a small dumbbell. It really has to only be light. We're just getting sort of strength in the deep down muscles through that shoulder. Um, and what you're going to do, you're going to have your shoulder up, elbow up at shoulder height. And all you're going to do is let it drop. Let your hand drop. And then bring it up. And this is really great for rotator cuff problems. And if you look, the reason this is perfect for your golf game, if we turn around, go into posture and bring that back, that is exactly the position you're trying to create. So, perfect example. Maybe one kilogram's too light for you, so obviously you can lift it up, but we don't want to be getting 15 kilograms and yanking it up, okay? Try and go through the whole range of movement in control and try and do it without using your opposite arm to support, okay? So that's three great exercises for shoulder mobility and strength. Let me know how they go. Mm -hmm.